I did the thing again. I did the thing where I forgot to unmute the mic. Uh, Alright, so, re reiterating some of the stuff I was just saying. Um, I for finally, or rather, not finally, this time I remembered to actually make sure all of this was working and that the mods were all working so, so I wouldn't spend the first, like, 10 or 20 minutes trying to troubleshoot. Unlike last time, hence why there is a new Pingu World that I'm on day two of. Um, whereas old Pingu World I was only on day three or four of. That's fine, though. Um, Alright, so what was the other thing? Oh, right, I was saying it's been a while. Uh, I'm trying to get back into doing more solo streams that are not just Cinderella Phenomenon, though I'm having a lot of fun with Cinderella Phenomenon. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of joint streams. And now, to be fair, I've been partly doing those because it's super fun, and I'm going to be doing another one later today, and another one tomorrow with, so two more streams with uh, Tapao of Vulcan in the next, uh, later today and tomorrow. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to spend some time doing some actual solo play on my Minecraft world. So, uh, where I left off was... Oh, yes, yes, I know what I'm doing. I was gonna build a base, because I spent a whole long time, most of my last stream in this world, uh, on this Minecraft world, I spent exploring, because 1.18 was new and exciting, and I filled in a bunch of map and then I was like, all right, I need to set up somewhere because I was quickly running out of inventory space, as I recall. And so I found this nice island once it all loads in. Pull that up. Uh, taking a long time to load up in because it's, you know, I have a lot of mods on this. So hopefully once it finishes loading, it'll be a little less laggy. Oh no. That looks like view bobbing, and I do not care for view bobbing. Yes, no, thank you. There we go. All right. Well, hopefully this will start moving a little smoother sooner than later. But well, I'll just try to get it to load. Right now, let's see if my map load. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I had wandered around a lot. I really like the new um, 1.18 terrain. It's very cool. Um, and I decided I was going to set up in the center of this nice little island. So that is what I was in the middle of doing when I logged off last time. As I recall, I was doing some terraforming. Uh, and I think my shovel had broken and that was my self, note to self of all right, time to maybe give it a break. Also, I'm surprised I haven't set up at least a temporary chest. Wow, I have so much birch. Gee, I wonder what I could make my house out of. All right. Oh, boop. Missed one. Boop. Boop. Just because, uh, this inventory management issue is gone far enough. I wasn't even really looking at what I was uh, dumping in here, but I'm sure it's fine. And oh yes, and the other thing is, uh, as a reminder, I am short because of what's doing the. Oh no, I'm locked in on the wrong account. Wait, am I? Oh, I must have done last time on this account because I'm like, I'm in the right place. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I like my other skin better. So, and you know what? I don't have too many people watching right now. So to my, anyone who is watching, sorry for the inconvenience. I'm gonna reload the game real quick so I can switch to my other account and skin. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, which is my streamer account, and I made a nicer, and I mean, I like that skin fi just fine. There's nothing wrong with it, and I have two accounts for a couple of reasons, but let's see, where's my curse forge? Launch that. 
but I spent like the first time I was gonna go live streaming Minecraft, I spent like an hour the night before updating my skin so it looked nicer. And I am like every time I forget I'm on my old account and then notice my skin, I'm like, no, but my cool streamer skin. And like once since I just did the like F3 view and I'm gonna do that same thing, but or yeah, is it F3 or F5? Whatever it is. Uh the, the view swap to show my skin and then I'm now loading back in with a different account. I will sh show the new skin as well so you can actually see the comparison. They're both good, I think. I just like this one better. And I'm leaving, I'm, I mean, I could just set the same skin for both of them, but I'm leaving them as the separate ones just because it's actually really helpful for me to, because that immediately cues me in. I'm on the other account. I have several, I sort of switch back and forth between the two accounts for a couple of different purposes, but I'm trying to shift over more to my newer account in general. Uh, I cannot remember if I clicked play. So yeah, so these things can take a while because there are a lot of mods to load. So uh, thank you for your patience while we wait for it to load up. And let's see, it's appeared for me. You can tell because it's red on my face. And there it is! The loading screen. Very exciting. And by very exciting, I mean... Welp. Ah, oh, and I'm also just looking at my stream overlay and there's these, like, the black bars on either side of the screen are, like, vaguely annoying me, but I don't think there's a good way to make those go away while I'm in window mode. I suppose I could stretch to fit the screen, but then it'll look a little awkward, so I'm gonna not worry about it. It is a-okay. Everything is a-okay. Uh, and I might now need to go... Huh. That's... odd. Wait, did I click the wrong world? No... Because I'm like, there should not have been any mod changes between me logging in on the other account. <laughs> uh, but that's it. Alright, I probably clicked the wrong one. Do, do, do. Yeah, my poor previous world, which I can still totally play on 1.17, but... I tried to update it to 1.18, but the there just wasn't enough of, like... The mod, so it's, you know, more and more mods are being updated for 1.18, but it just not enough. The, the compatibility is not there for the level of modding I have enabled. Do, 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 do. Someday this will bench loading and be less laggy. And I'm just gonna go around in a little circle to get it to do that faster. Oh hey, I'd forgotten about that. The little cave right there. Um, I almost actually want to like... Yeah, I was thinking about, man, maybe I should do like another level, but I'm like... Maybe instead I actually fill this in so it's like a little more square and I think this is a good level by itself. And... I'm still building, so there is no particular purpose for me to let night happen until I actually have, like, an enclosed space to avoid mobs if I need to. Okay, so, uh, right, and then I was going to talk about- alright, so, back on track. Uh, boop. there we go! Yeah, there's my slightly updated skin. And then the other thing I was talking about, was, that I was about to talk about before I got totally distracted and reloaded my entire game, was uh, one of the uh, most 
uh, to me, core mods of, of my pack, my custom pack uh, that I made myself was the Origins mod. And the origin I have chosen is the Mushling origin. On my previous world, I had this cute frog origin, uh, but unfortunately, I just couldn't get it, figure out how to get it to update to uh, 1.18 because it was built for 1.17. However, I did find this adorable mushroom origin, so I am short and I can see in the dark because, you know, mushrooms in the dark. I don't take fall damage, um, and but I do get dehydrated in the sun, uh, which basically just gives me some negative effects. And heat sources hurt more. I have fewer hearts, but. Do, 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 do. And I also become slightly transparent when creeping. That's cool. In fact, you can see right through my glasses. I love it. I love this origin. It's very, it's very fun. So, and the seeing in the dark and no fall damage are definitely really nice. All right, let's see. Uh, so it looks like I wanted to do maybe a little more terraforming there and then finish filling this in. So let's just do this a bit first. Probably not actually going to start off with a terribly large house, but I might want to expand it, so having some space to do so would be nice. Plus I want some nice level ground for like a starter farm and stuff. Sure, let's call that good. I kind of want to fill all of this in. In fact, I think that I was planning to do that, and I think that's what this outline is for. So let's do that. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of dirt. I feel like I had done enough terraport. Yeah, there we go. I was like, I. I I feel like I probably had a lot of additional dirt to work with, and I was right. Do, do, do. And then, yeah, I think I want to maybe flatten this level. Do, do, do. Just some cash, terraforming. Um, oh. Don't need that mushroom. Grab that copper though. Oh right, and now I also have um I think I since last time have added Industrial Revolution because I don't think it was available yet for this version. So that must so that means I will have two options for shovels. And yeah. The Industrial Revolution version of Copper Tools is much more generous. Actually, uh, that's something I'm gonna want to consider. Because, like, one of the things that I'm kind of ca casually trying to do with this world is, like, use it as a testing ground. Because eventually I'd like to start up a SMP for, like, followers, maybe? Um, be a while before I get there, but I want to figure out some balancing things. Like, I don't actually want there to be two versions of Copper Tools, so spending some time comparing them. And, like, I want to compare... Okay, so shovels... Yeah, I think... I don't understand why the attacks... Well, I guess because Copper is light, so that kind of makes some sense. Yeah, alright. I think I am perfectly happy with the Industrial Revolution version of the Copper Tools, so I think I will disable, when I get around to it, the Mythic Metals version. Just to also want to balance 
gobber a little less. Gobber won't come up for a bit because I need to find it first, but like... I like a lot of things about the gobber mod, but it is admittedly very OP, and I'd like to... Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna shrink it a little, and by shrink it, that's not quite the word I want. Um, what's the word I want? Uh, I guess nerf it a little to put it more in line with the Mythic Levels mod, because like, as it stands at, in their default states, like, there is no reason to bother with any of the Mythic Metal armors when, like, a Gobber armor is just so much better. So I want to tweak both of those things so that maybe the fancier Mythic Metal armors are a little tougher and the Gobber armor is a little smaller. Like, less, less power. Not, like, significantly, but just, like, a little bit of tweaking. But yeah, no, nah, definitely a thing I really like about um, the... So I ended up, I was going back and forth on if I actually wanted to re-add Industrial Revolution because I don't do a ton with tech mods myself, so it felt a little silly to have three of them, but ultimately I really like the uh, basic like tools and armor options that Industrial Revolution introduces, and it's just so nice to have uses for copper. Like, I still play uh, non-modded, you know, vanilla Minecraft semi-regularly, on servers and stuff, and I just will collect all this copper, and I'm like, okay, I can make a spyglass and a lightning rod, and I guess it's decorative, and it's just so, like, like, copper, I want, I want you to have more uses. So, it's very nice that, you know, many mod authors feel the same way, and, you know, handled it by adding more uses. Oh yes, I... Hmm, that's another thing I need to look into. I was disabling some... Oh... The other thing about the tech mods is that a lot of them introduce the same metals, and like, I like having a lot of ores, but it was a little intense on some of my previous run-throughs, so I was gonna... So I had at least attempted to disable it, so disable certain uh, metals so that they only appear through one or two at most mods. Um, I thought that Mythic Metals would be one of the ones I had produced it in, but uh, you know, I'm kind of curious. So let's just give me one moment. Okay, so I need to go to there. Mm -hmm. Board, and I'm sorry for not showing this process, but I'm like, actually, I maybe don't want to show my whole folder structure. But instances, I think it is the. Uh, no, no, not mods itself. I want config files. I can at least, you know, narrate what I'm doing. Although I'm realizing that when I narrate, I kind of mutter a little. It's probably very hard to hear. Uh, I've also been thinking about the fact that my condenser mic is like, so like, you know, my mouth is here, my condenser mic is like here, and I'm just doing hands so you can kind of see the difference, and I'm like, maybe I should figure out a way to put it closer to where my mouth is, and I mean, if I talk at normal volumes, I think, like at my, or, well, okay, for me, I tend to, if I stop... I, I vary between talking a little quietly and talking a little too loudly. So when I err on the side of talking loudly like I am now, I think it's not a problem and you can hear me very clearly. But if I like start muttering or talking a little quieter like I'm doing now, it becomes very hard to hear me, I think. So that's something I need to- Oh, hello! Yes, happy snow day! Oh my goodness, there's so much snow! Although it's the stuff in the road is starting to melt, so I guess it must not be too cold out. Oh man, but it's like the first- I feel like this is the first real snow. Oh, volume sounds good over here? That's good. Um, oh yes, well that was a little quiet because I was like facing that way and my condenser mic is definitely facing this way. So I was comparing like, so this is me talking at a somewhat normal 
on the louder side volume. Whereas this is me talking at a slightly muttery volume, which I assume is a little harder, well, noticeably harder to hear on some level, but, like, also I would assume that turning my head totally away from my mic would be very quiet. <laughs> Alright. Do do do. At some point, I don't know, like, where I could put it, like, if I maybe, like, I think I need, like, here? No, that's not really closer is the thing, so... I think I'm gonna just try to remember to talk at the slightly louder volume. Err on the side of talking louder. Uh, it's not like that's a genuinely difficult thing for me to do. Um, and I'll just try to remember that when I'm streaming. Right, so I was looking up a thing, which is why I'm paused. Um, it was Mythic Metals? Yes. Uh, Mythic Metals, and, uh, my Discord before it There's so many metals! Uh, is this in alphabetical order? Uh, okay, so I like that. Okay, so tin is enabled there. Um, what about Industrial Revolution? Because I know I went through and I'm like, oh no, what if when I update things, it, like, update, it overwrites the configurations that I had. Oh, ha 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 You are a theater person. You know how to project. This is true. I did, in fact, major in theater. And it's not something that I am particularly using in my life, but, like, there are definitely a lot of, like, useful little things that I learned from, you know, that I got out of that experience. Among them, projecting my voice. Um, modern industrialization. Um, yeah, all right. So... That's a thing I'm gonna have to remember to do, uh, is go through and update my blacklisted metals so I don't have more than one or two versions of each type, because it just it just got a little intense having like four different mods versions of tin, and like I, there are libraries that make them all work together so you can use it pretty interchangeably, but it was still just like you know, annoying to store and sort and such in, like, I have another world that is not a stream-based world that it was originally, like, a server that I had built to play with friends, but then nobody was really terribly interested, so I have... Oh, I was actually very sad today because I finally acknowledged that it was not worth my time, or it was not worth it for me to continue paying for server hosting when, like, I was the only one playing on my server. So I uh, have canceled that and was did that today. Was a little sad. So, which is another reason I, I normally on my every other sort of schedule, I would have been playing Reset here today. But like, I was feeling sad about canceling my subscription for my uh, server. So I decided to play some Minecraft. <laughs> That's probably enough. And let's cut that tree down too, actually. Yeah! That's a thing that's with my- so my, I have my Mushroom Origin and I also have my Lumberjack class, which makes me cut down trees very quickly. It's- it's so convenient. Like, a tall tree that I can't reach the top of? Oh, well, okay. If the axe breaks part way through, then it won't- Actually, it'll only chop as many blocks as the axe had the capacity to do, but like on the whole. Alright, are you. Yes, good. That automatically went to the bag. I feel like the visual of raw tin for mythic metals is a little odd. Do -do -do. But yeah, I'm realizing I hadn't updated the ores since. I added Industrial Revolution, and that was one of the big ones that is just like. Yep, all the same metals. So I probably do have like four types of tin enabled, but I will go through and fix that at a later time. It's not terribly important to my current experience since I'm still in some very early stage stuff. And hopefully that won't like mess anything up too badly to make... I actually wonder if in the areas that I have already where the chunks have already loaded, if me removing the ores from the 
configuration file will actually remove those ores, or if the ones that are already generated would stay, but eh, that's just me kind of uh, theorizing about technical mod stuff that is perhaps not terribly interesting to anyone who doesn't run their own mod packs. So I'll look into that on my own time. Yes. So basically one of my hopes is that maybe eventually I will get enough of followers that like watching me play Minecraft and might like playing Minecraft themselves to like justify my own server and I would be somewhat unique in the world of Minecraft streamers in that I don't really know any other well okay I don't personally follow I, I, I do follow several other Minecraft streamers but like I don't personally follow anyone that has a modded like uh, several of them have their own servers but like I've never seen anyone have their own modded server for followers and I can understand why because that's a huge pain to deal with and probably a lot of people don't want to deal with the maintenance of that, but I'm like, you know, with the, like, I just put the caveat of I can't guarantee it will always be working again, it will probably have to update pretty frequently, but like, oh no. And this is why we're in softcore, because I... Yeah. That's fine. I find hardcore very stressful, to be honest. Like, it's just... I am not trying... Like, I I'm not super skilled at the game, but I'm also not trying to be super skilled at the game. I like casual... I had forgotten I had these backpacks. How did I forget that? That's why I hadn't needed chests. More the fool me. That's fine. I can j just grab all this stuff back and... Uh... That was the number of baby seeds and stuff. Yep, that tracks. And... Oh, that one's tall, which is why I didn't. Um, doop, doop. And then this one for dirt and logs seems reasonable. Boop, boop. And... Boop. and then I can actually worry, only have to worry about chests once I actually have a space where I know I want to put them. Boop. Oh yeah, and I was like, why also, also, why do I have a, why have I bothered to make a crafting table when there's like the pocket crafting table? But I remembered I didn't have the mod with the pocket crafting table last time I played this, which was a tragedy. Let's just cook that tin into actual tin. Oh yes, and let me actually put on this little boots. Okay, that was another thing I want to look at is the comparison between copper and iron armor. But that's, you know, another thing with like mod configuring. Uh, I believe the more accurate term there is balancing, but it's... Oh yeah, that's the other thing. As a mushroom, I have water breathing. <laughs> Mushrooms like the damp. Alright, so I think it is perhaps time to start on building. So let's take a couple of those stacks upon stacks of birch logs I have and go boop. Uh, actually, I'm just going to work with that for now. That's that's a lot of planks. I'll probably be okay. Um, yeah. So let's center around this, and I want to start moderate, but not tiny. I should probably start from over here because I don't want to go too close to the edge. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Do seven. Seven by nine. That seems like a good. Eh, actually, maybe that's a little small. Um, maybe I will up that to eleven. And then this can be nine, because I like rectangles. Oh, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
seven, eight, nine. And boop, boop, boop. And I am also going to remove that latest death because that doesn't need to be there no more. I do think I have a mod that is like recording all of my silly ways that I I my character fails to survive, but uh, I don't actually know how to check it, so I'll worry about that later as well. Yeah, and I like to do odd numbers because then I can do single doors. Although actually, maybe it would be nice. Uh, which way do I want to do the farm? Probably not that way. So probably this way. Yeah, that's some good farm-like area. Um, in that case, I guess, you know, I don't... I did the odd number so that I could have a door in the perfect center, but now I'm like, I don't actually need a door in the perfect center. It would make more sense, given the shape I'm doing, to have a door here, I think. Maybe for, like, this direction, I could have a door in the center. One, two, three. It was, like, here, I think. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Boop, boop, boop. Let's, yeah, that, I think four high makes sense. Ah. Boop, boop, boop. Well, you know, I was gonna do four high, but I'm not like, I'm, sh I'm small. Maybe I actually only wanna do three high. And then the fourth will be, um, there's like a style of cabin that I like in Minecraft that, where this la layer is like logs and I was gonna do four plank high and then the fifth row is log but I'm like maybe my house just doesn't need to be that tall heck I technically don't even need a two block doorway but I am technically a little taller than one block so if I had a one block doorway I would have to crouch every single time I entered it and that would be mildly annoying and I do like it, because one of the things about the rung was that the, the frog origin that I had before was it was exactly one block tall, which means crouching would make me half a block tall, which made it like work very synergistically with inchling, which is an origin where your character is half, like starts at half a block tall. Um, but I, so I like the idea of then also having, I'm going to figure out a way to re-add that because I like having a one block tall option, but I like the idea also of having the one the like roughly one and a half block tall character because then I crouched to get to one block but could not actually enter a half block space and that's just feels like it would be fun for future potential server shenanigans in terms of how the origins would work together yeah okay we got a good start going I should actually maybe make some doors Oh, right, and then I got distracted partway through another thing I was going to do, which is I think I have Kybe now, which means I should be able to go boop and yeah! Who needs crafting tables when you can have a crafting table in your inventory? Boop. And that's still handy, but um, maybe some doors would be nice. Eventually, I will also want to redo the floor, so it is not the indoor is not grass, but uh, that does feel a little awkward. But I can maybe make up for it by doing some nice windows along here. Boop. 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 One block tall windows. Maybe if I did that and then. Maybe I actually want the window to be more like this and put a block there. Yeah! And then this can just have a normal window here and here. Actually, maybe these can also be two blocks. I like windows. I could be using an axe. 
axe, but yeah, then I'd have to go find it. Do I have one with the truly in my inventory? No, I no, I broke my axe right, so. Eh. Okay, this wall is very featureless and I don't like it, so one, two, three. I think here is the center. It might be worth it in my while to have a third door. For highly accessible premises. succeed at putting them in the center or did I put it off center? Uh, uh, I think that's centered. Alright, and compare it to that set you have two and two. Yeah, alright, that's that's shaping up. I'm gonna just collect these mushrooms. I keep looking over here and being like, but mushrooms! There are mushrooms that I could be collecting! I have got things to do, but over there, mushrooms! So now the mushrooms will distract me less. I say, looking over and then seeing another immediately visible mushroom. Um, let's also just grab that. These little food items. Ah, oop, that's not what I meant to do. It was this one where I was doing... Oh, I guess I was putting plants in here, so I should grab the mushrooms back from in here. And we also have a sap, and we can put them all in here. And I have the power to not have to wait for the night, so we're gonna not do that. Alright. Um, and I guess this wall can be where I put chests, just because it's currently the only wall I have not yet put windows in. At some point I'm gonna try... I don't really understand how slot length works, but it's like... Um, yeah. No, that's applied energistics. Um, maybe it does the same thing. There's some kind of mod that I have installed that makes a very handy little, like, you can... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so Slot Link has this thing where you can make a... Oh, that's multi-dimensional. I just want the... Uh, okay, so. There is... I don't know how to make the master block, but... Oh, well, I guess maybe that might be the name of the block? Yeah! Network block, and I would need to make... Cord. So I need any kind of cords, it looks like, a diamond, and a cable, which is pretty just iron or equivalent, and stone slabs. So that's not too bad. That's uh, That'll be a bit before I can actually make that, because I need diamond and I need quartz. Those are the two, it looks like, biggest things that I'm going to need to make that. And then it'll have a handy dandy long distance storage network. Uh, but I'm not quite there yet, so let's make some nice expanded storage chests because I think I'm going to want those anyway. Um, uh, wait, wait, wait. No. I just I want to make more normal chests. I probably don't need that many chests, uh, but let's say... Uh, yeah, a 16 to start with. Let's and turn them all into expanded storage. And boop, boop, and boop, boop. And that's one of the really convenient things. So, there are many things about expanded storage that are nice. I mean, um, among them that you can upgrade the chests. Oh, oops, I didn't quite mean to click on that, but um, 
Do we want to scroll or? Oh, this is, this is actually kind of a difficult decision for me. Uh, let's do, why am I having, you know what? Sometimes the most inane decisions are the ones I have the most trouble with. So this isn't that weird for me. Um, all right, paginated, scrollable. Let's go with scroll. Won't be relevant yet, but so eventually these chests can be upgraded in like size, although I still have yet to figure out how to upgrade a dual chest because I think that's actually just makes my life inconvenient and maybe I should not join them until I have the upgraded versions. Uh, it's gonna be annoying for something or another anyway. Let's, uh, let's see. Oops. So, so yeah, I guess maybe if I had two of these in my inventory, that's, I don't have enough iron to test it yet, so I will leave my storage boxes like this for now and worry about that later. And maybe make some more signs because I could definitely use more signs because it is useful to label your boxes. Um, there. Okay, so let's call this one. Let's have that one be the valuables chest. No, actually let's, uh, where's gems? Which also includes metal, so that's like a little bit of a misnomer, but <laughs> stuff like that. And then this one, I guess, can be. I usually refer to it as basic blocks, which is like where I would put all the dirt and such. Dirt and cobblestone and a couple other types of things. Like, um, like the dripstone, for example. And then I suppose I could have called that wooden. No, that didn't quite work. Whoops. I forgot that I have to have nothing. I think I have a thing where I can crouch and change a sign. No, I guess I don't. Uh, locks and wooden things, I think, would make more sense as a sign name. Locks and wooden things. Like planks and such. And also that's where my extra signs would go. Oh, the coal can also go in there. That counts. And that also is. Maybe seeds and saplings, yeah. Seeds and saplings. Oh. Saplings. Farm. Um, that would be. I don't really have any tech stuff yet, so... Eh. I can always change them up as needed. And, oh yeah, I forgot that I had made 16 chests, but I actually only made... I turned them into 8 combined chests, so... I made a few more signs than needed, but... And, um... So interestingly, I tend to consider wool to, oh, that's not what I want to do. I usually consider wool to be more like a mob drop than anything else, so wool and feathers and stuff, so that's where that goes. Let's 
see. Anything that can't immediately be planted goes there. Um, oops. That also counts that teller. So now I'm a celery. And a cherry. Um, although actually I should make a cherry tree. I can also make an apricot tree. And I have... Do I have like a... Oh, yes, I was working on this chest first. Do, 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 do. I have so many trees to make. But... Oh, that's fun. Um, oops, yeah. Let's just make this be a miscellaneous chest for now, and I will update the chests later. Misc. Oh, hello! Hi! Sorry, I was just, uh... I try to remember to check the chat regularly. I hope I didn't miss your message by too much. I would love to have timestamps in the chat, man. Uh, yeah, there's just not a way to do that. But yeah, hello, thanks for stopping in. I'm in very early stages of my Minecraft world. So I'm still doing like, you know, early house and chest setup and stuff. So. I am, I finally, like, I've been collecting items for a while, so I finally have a place to put the items, and it is exciting. Yeah, I, indeed. I would imagine that fellow streamers will understand the missing chat. And, oh, I did catch it right away, good. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I catch it, like, out of the corner of my eye, because, like, so I have dual screens, and so, like, I'll be looking here, and the... Like, and the, uh, my streaming software is over in this direction, and so I will, like, see sometimes when things shift. And that's really handy when I do actually catch that. Uh, what else? What do I have? Okay, so I need to sort out my fruits. Because I think the next thing I do after I sort out my inventory a bit is, uh, it's called Flowers Miscellaneous. And mushrooms are magic stuff. And so are anything from Botania. Doo -doo -doo. Let's sort that. And uh, four more stuff from bags. Soon I will have a nice empty bag, and that would be great. And more mush magic mushrooms. Boop, boop. Another flower. More fruit. So much more fruit. Oh, I don't even remember collecting all that fruit. I guess it's been a while. Uh, magic stuff. I am almost at the point where I have. Oh man, I probably should have like prioritized removing it. Well, let's see. Uh, boop. I'm gonna call this golden apple miscellaneous. Now, okay, so the reason I was like, oh man, I should have grabbed the sapling first was because I can actually use the sapling to turn all of these into fruit trees, although now my inventory's a bit full. Boop. Um, oh, I didn't really make a thing for tools. Eh. I guess they can live under miscellaneous for now. I'll pick them back up. Oh, actually, you know, some of these I want to keep on me, so... This, my backpack can be for tools. Oh, I have like a single emerald. That's cool. So that'll go in my fancy stuff. Oh, the blue moon. Yay. I don't want to sleep through the blue moon. I have, uh, that's one of my many, many mods is enhanced celestials. So there are, there is like the red moon, which is, makes all the undead super angry. Um, and the blue moon, which makes you feel lucky, and then there's like, uh, like, literally gives you the luck skill. I don't actually remember what the luck skill does. Um, but it's generally nice. And look at how pretty that is, too. Yeah. And it's making the nighttime coloration a bit blue, and that's just so cool. I, I really like enhanced celestials. Um, and then there's also a harvest moon, which will make things grow faster. Looking forward to that one, for sure. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so those are all tools. That also counts as a tool, I think. 
Uh, that's also... Wait, why do I have two of the magic fungi book? Eh. That's fine. I'll just put it in the miscellaneous chest. And now, now I should have enough inventory space to make all the fruit trees. I have made the advancement forestry territory. Oh, okay, so, wait, wait, I know I made two pear saplings. I don't need two pear saplings. That's fine. And a persimmon. And an apple. And a plum. And an apricot. And I think that was all of my fruit. Wait, was it? Okay, so I have the cherry and the apricot and the persimmon and the apple and the pear and the plum I ran out of and oh I don't have a nectarine tree yet. Boop. There we go. Oh yes I have so many mods um I'm happy to like I, I try to like do a little uh, at least like reference what mod anytime I'm working with a mod I try to remember to reference the mod I'm working with um, though I did just realize the, the nice fruit trees are from Croptopia. But at some point I'll make a nice list that I can like post automatically anytime people are interested. Because I, that, that number of mods might be 130. Um, there might just be a couple of mods in this pack. Just, just a few. Um, a couple of the biggest ones. So one of the things is... Do, do, uh, I have Origins, which I love. It's it's like a uh, for anyone who who does not know the Origins mod, it gives you the option to choose, um, well, an origin for your character that will give you unique uh, powers and like benefits and detriments. So the origin I have chosen is Mushling. It's it, um, so first you need the like original Origins mods, and then there's a a mod that has a few there's like six defaults and then a lot of people have created additional origins that you can find through extra yeah just a few just a few 130 just a few i really like mods but yeah, anyway so the mushroom origin is a a sub mod for origins that someone made so i am a mushroom I am small, and I can see in the dark. Uh, I can actually toggle that, I think. Wait, that's the wrong button for that. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, there we go. I have it toggled on because there's no particular reason for me to turn it up. Ah, that, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, so I can see in the dark because I am a mushroom. Uh, and um, I also do not take fall damage. And when I sneak, I become mildly transparent. And what else was it? And then also, and then the detriments are: I have fewer hearts. I get dehydrated in the, the daylight, which gives me a couple of uh, debuffs. And heat sources are are hurt more because fungi can be easily killed by too much heat. Uh, so I'm a big fan of the Origins mod, and that, like, is one of the biggest impact mods in a lot of ways, just because... Uh, okay, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take that out of my hand. Just because it affects, like, every aspect of the gameplay, because it is your character's base state. Um, I also am a huge fan of Croptopia. It is a mod that has all the, adds all this extra food, and you can make cool crafted food. I have like three different tech mods. Gotta find you a mushy biome. Yeah, yeah. You know, actually, I didn't think of that. I should totally have set up in a mushroom biome. Uh, well, I didn't find one near spot area, and I'm. I also really do like this island. Obviously, I also have map mods. So there's the the mini map up there, and then there's the big map. And it's like I know Minecraft has default maps, but they're not nearly this good. So. And also, I can put, like, waypoints in the map. So, like, for example, I have... Uh, oh, right, I had set up briefly in this village before finding another space. Uh, and let's see. 
and there's like the reason my chests are facing in an odd direction is because I have a mod called Expanded Storage. Yeah, the default map is super awkward and time consuming, 100%. Whereas this way, like, having a mini-map is just helpful because I get lost easily, and then this is just so convenient. Like, so it's it's the whole map all at once, and, like, you can add waypoints and see them on your map. So, like, I have the one that's called My Stuff is because I had originally set up in a village, and I wanted to remember where I had put my stuff. Um, and so it'll show on the map. So anytime I find something particularly cool, like, just put a uh, waypoint there, and I'll be able to find my way back. See you out there, mobs. I have a lot of holes, but nothing that I think any normal mobs could get into, but skeletons could definitely shoot at me, which is a little unfortunate, but... I also have a few utility mods that are like, just give you lots of additional tools and stuff. Oh uh, gosh, I have so many mods. Oh, and I have a whole bunch of magic mods, so that's fun. there. Do I have... Wait, what did I do? Did I just dump everything I had that was tool-shaped in? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> this is the... S <laughs> I appreciate this as the safe way. Uh, it's probably not gonna be safe to go out. Uh, yep, nope, not safe. Okay. Can you actually shoot at me, or am I too tiny? That's that handy. I think I'm too tiny for the skeleton to shoot from this angle. That's delightful. Alright, apparently this is just my- oh, nope, never mind, that skeleton got at me. Uh, but I am- I am digging the, like, stabby window. This is the stabby window. If you come up to this window, you will just get stabbed. And that'll get me some nice XP and mob drops. So yeah, like when I am a normal two block height, I will put windows up and then I'll have to like block them up with like dirt and stuff, but because, you know, skeletons can just get at you real quick, but I never thought of the fact that I'm so short that the skeletons can't quite get me. Handy. Alright, um, uh... I did want to make a farm, and I didn't want to sleep through the blue moon, but I don't remember what luck does. Maybe if you put a half slab on the bottom, you might be able to crouch and attack without getting hit. I mean, I basically wasn't getting hit. Like, there was one arrow that managed to get me, but, like, with what I've already got on, like, with just already being short, they were basically just shooting the window and not me, and that was great. And... Where did you go? You know, I'm not gonna worry about the mobs. I've got other stuff to be doing. Um, maybe I do want to look. That was, that was a weird perspective to look at. Woo. I like the blue moon, but I don't even remember what luck does, and it would be very convenient to be able to go out and not have more mobs spawn. Because I need to plant stuff. And let's see. Oh, wait. I was thinking I should drop off the things that I picked up from the mobs. Oop, oop. And then step one. All the fruit trees. Oop, oop, oop. And oop. Oop, oop. Okay, so I'm gonna set up a farm here, and I might just have... that's the area with the weird little cave. Let's start setting up trees here. So your tree, your tree, is that enough distance between them? It might not be, actually. Oh, hello, zombies! Maybe if you keep coming this way, you will... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so most trees go about two blocks out. And so if I go one, two, one, two on the diagonal, and then I put it there, that should be fine. 
two, one, two, one. Well, that's probably good enough. see how that goes. And then start. Okay, so I need to make farming implements. Um, yeah, I'll use tin for now. Uh, actually, I'll just grab all of those because it's handy to have them in my inventory. And I also think I might have dropped my, all of my Stick shape things. Oh, that's also a thing that can go in love traps. Oop. Yeah, I'll sort out that backpack later. Um, where did my pocket crafting table go? It went here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so I want. Oh, I guess sometimes recipes don't appear until I've made them at least once. Uh, because there's just so many modded recipes. Uh, I want to save my iron because there are still a lot of things that can only be made with iron. I guess tin does not work with harvest side. I, I definitely have harvest sides, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Harvest scythe. Uh, oh, you know what else I need? I need a bucket. And I do have the iron to make that. Bucket. I guess for what I'm actually going to be doing, it would have been fine to get a, make a bucket out of logs, but I also will need iron buckets eventually, so why not? Um, let's say I start it like here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's all, that was kind of a waste of my time because those are gonna go away real fast, but that's fine. Uh, where am I on the island? Uh, I think this way maybe will get me to the water fastest. Oh, I have sheeps. I think I knew that, but I had forgotten. Hello, sheepy. Oh, hey, what is this? Oh, I think I already have the grapes from that. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. One thing I could do is... Mm, I think it is too early for Botterwocket. Botterwocket being a magical infinite water water bucket. Oh, actually, before I put something there, let's make a little infinite water source that is actually near me. And then I only have to go back and get one more thing of water, and then I can just from there. Do -de 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 -de. And do -de 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 -de. And then also I can this can double as a place for me to plant the sugar cane. And sugar the door. <laughs> That'd be silly. Oh. And, oh, that's not quite what I wanted to do. That's over there. And now I do the... This is a little crowded, but it'll be fine. I'm small. I can have small space. Alright. Do, 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 do. And I'm gonna make a pretty standard little 9x9 nine nine garden for now.
now it is time for planting. And I have so many weird types of seeds. Uh, let's actually prioritize the food-based ones. Uh, oh, and by the way, the background music I have, which is, like, obviously not, um, Minecraft is, uh, there is a, uh, a, a, a person who does Minecraft streaming and also makes, uh, DRM, DRM, yes, DRM free music for Twitch streamers, uh, his name is Malcolm Horan, his Twitch username is MusicMan1017, and this is all, like, from his albums that are for Twitch streamers. The albums are called Infinity and Infinity 2. So, I just, I think he's super cool, and I'm taking advantage of his nicely created for streamers music. Alright, so. First, wheat is super, super duper handy, so we'll do a whole row of that. And I think next I'll do a fruit row. Well, let's do two strawberries because strawberries have things. Uh, there's some things I can do with blackberry. I would like to have two, at least two places of grapes, but I don't have the space for it yet, so. Oh, that sprouted real fast. Maybe that's just the default size, actually. Um, maybe I want the grapes to be slightly less in the way. Yeah, let's get in there. And what else have I got? And then tomato. We can start down here, maybe? Eventually I will reorganize the garden plot, but... Potato. Garlic. Let's just leave those for last because those are not food seeds. All right, and oh, I already had done the blackberry. Uh, cantaloupe. One cantaloupe is all I really need. Uh, let's make a random veggies roll. Celery. Oh, spinach is super handy, so I'll do more of that. Uh, tomatillo. That goes into random stuff. Oh yeah, I can make tea. Let's put that here. I have a bit of a logic for how I'm organizing this this farm plot, but it, it, it may only slightly make sense to people who are not me. I should eventually make a separate garden plot for these things, but these are magic plants. It sounds super nice. Oh yeah, the music, yeah. Alright. That's a good start for my farm, I think. And now I will dump all the excess seeds back in here. And do I have enough to make anything useful? Not really, because I first need to make the cooking implements, I just remembered. Um, I do have some iron. There are probably more useful things I could be doing for iron, but- or I could do Croptopia things. I have just made the advancement potted made a cooking pot. Uh, also, forestry territory was gather some fruit and make a tree from it. If it makes sense to you, that is all that matters. Yes, thank you. That is true. Alright, so I'm pretty sure with a cooking pot and sugar and berries... Oh wait, I don't have sugar. I just have salt. Uh, that won't do. Do I also need... Well... Okay, all of these will make jam. And I have means to... Actually, maybe I want to have more grape seeds more than I want to immediately have grapes. Because then I will later have more grapes. And goodbye, nighttime. Ah! Rude! Rude! This is my fault for leaving the door open. Uh, I don't have high hopes for my survival at this time. Oh wait, no, it's that, that, the mini zombies probably don't even need to come through the door. Can I finish sleeping through the night this time? Yeah, okay. 
Welp, I did forget about the small zombies being able to just jump through my windows. I probably should put slabs up. I don't suppose I have a mod that makes... No, I don't. I never know what kind of mods I have. Some Sometimes I forget uh, what all the mods do, so I will check things. Like, I was like, can I make dirt slabs? I am not really here. Alright, well, thank you for, for lurking. Alright. Oh, this is not... Okay, I definitely need to make some kind of food. Let's just take all of the food and reflect on what I can make. Um... Maybe I will put the mushroom. I will make myself a little dirt tower. Nothing can get me on my little dirt tower. ASI work on a convention I am not involved with. Lol. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate the lurk very much. Someday I will get that average of three viewers, uh, or uh, the long-term average of three viewers, and I am only six followers away from uh, the 50 follower requirement for affiliate. I am going to put together a Facebook advertisement some point soon. I just realized I was well overdue for a Facebook, uh, I don't like the term purge, but like, you know, just kind of going through my friends list and and making some edits. Like, there's people that I haven't talked to in like over a decade. They were like people I kind of knew in college. And I'm just like, maybe some of these people don't need to still be on my Facebook list. And there's also a couple people where I'm like, I probably should have unfriended them before now, considering I'm looking I will look at people on my Facebook list and I'm like, I'm actively uncomfortable around this person. Oh, no, 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 not like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not a Facebook ad, like, pay for it ad. I mean, on my personal Facebook page, I'm going to be like, hey, guys, I'm streaming on Twitch. You should follow me. And that will hit a much wider audience than I have hit on Discord. Um, I always feel weird advertising my stream on my Facebook. Yeah, like, so, so, like, Anna had a, a, a post that was really well written that I'm actually borrowing some of the language from, which is basically just, hey, you know, no, no pressure, no obligation, but, like, if you wouldn't mind dropping me a follow, you don't have to watch. I'm just trying to get the follower count. Um, so, and that, I think, I, since I only need six people and there's, like, a lot of people on Facebook who I don't talk to on a regular basis but might see that and go, oh, yeah, I could throw out a follower... I could, I could uh, toss out a follow. I think that will get me the, like, six I need to uh, push over the edge into the into affiliate territory. Because I'm currently at 44. <laughs> eh, I can't reach that one. Oh, oh well. Such is sometimes the way with fruit trees. Uh, I think that tree is actually in a very bad place and I need to move it. And you know what? That is enough apples that I think I can just eat some apples to regain some health. Because it is stressing me out. A little. Like, I'm, I'm on- I'm not on hardcore, but it's still, like, not ideal to be hovering at, like, two hearts. It is inconvenient at best. Can I get those? Yeah! Alright. Do do do. I think I'm at 35. Oh, fair. Getting there. I have also made a couple of, like, you know, I've made pushes on, like, discords and stuff, so there's definitely been. And, like, you know, honestly, me and Anna having the stream crossover, I feel like I should get, like, I, I know she's not terribly worried about using her real name, but, like, I feel like I should get in the habit of calling her Tapao anyway, just because I feel like it's normal to use people's usernames online. Um, but, yeah, so... We have definitely had some, like, cross-follower action, which has been really appreciated. Like, being like, hey, you can go follow this person that I am streaming with on both of our ends. So, that's been nice. I, I really do not actually like having the sugar cane, like, right there. It's kind of in the way. Let's set up a slightly less in the way 
place for it to live. Um, maybe like, yeah, like over on the side of the house. That sounds fine. try to get into that more like uh you mean just like streaming in general getting followers and stuff yeah like it's definitely a thing where i i have found like if most people like you know it's it growth on twitch is not a fast thing but if you like tell your friends most many you know lots of people are like i would like to watch my friends stream and will come follow you and watch your stuff if only they know that you are doing it so that has definitely been one of the best sources for self-advertisement that i have found is just telling my friends oops i did not mean to do that oh no okay there we go so this is like the the thing that is cool about harvest scythe is that um so I I no longer I do not have to break the plant to to collect it. Uh the harvest scythe will automatically harvest both the food and the seeds from whatever I am using it on. It is a very handy little mod. Alright, and oh yeah, you know this is kind of an impatience thing, but I want a sugar cane to make a sugar so I can just test out this recipe. And my inventory is way too full. Boop. Stuff goes that. Mop drops goes there. Uh, oh, oops, I missed a... That's also magic stuff. I can definitely afford the apples for recovering health. That's, I got a really good apple tree, actually. That's like lots of apples. Oh, hey, my cherry tree. Cherries are also nice because cherries can make cherry jam and cherry pie. Do, do, do. Can I reach those? Yes, I can. Yeah, this is definitely one uh, small disadvantage to being small. <laughs> is the, I mean, the higher parts of the tree were always going to be difficult to reach, but like, extra difficult when you are tiny. Okay, I think I got it all. And one last apple, and that should cover all my health, and that's nice. And now we test. Yeah, that's the stuff. I can make all the jams. Um, which jams actually work with toast and jam, though? One good way to find out. So toast is a croptopia thing. You can make bread into toast, um, and then you can make... What's ashed? Huh? Oh, interesting. Avocado toast. You can make lots of things on toast, So, but only some of the jams actually will make jam with toast, which is a little... Um, apricot, blueberry, blueberry, cherry, elderberry, grape, peach, strawberry, apricot. Oh, okay, so that that's pretty much. So that's a good use for apricots because I don't think there's a lot else that you can make with apricots. Oh, you can make fruit cake, but you can make that with any fruit. Um, smoothies, but you can also make that with any fruit. Yeah, the only... Yeah, alright, so I will default to making most of my apricots into apricot jam. And there I have a single thing of apricot jam. Boop. I need a lot more sugar to do too much more with that, but... Oh, and in fact, this thing where I can just quickly look up items is itself a mod. Uh, it's called Roughly Enough Items, and it is a vital mod for anyone with a mod pack that is anywhere near the size of the one I have. I mean, honestly, I think it's just a standard, like, you will find very few people who do not have this in a fabric mod pack. Um, oops, that's not the button I wanted. That. There we go. And it is, you can look items up and see 
what you can craft with them or how to craft them. So it's so handy. Um, what? I swear I was going to look something else up, but now I cannot recall what it was. Oh, come on. It's totally basically night. All right, there's stars. Must be night. No. Are you getting progressively darker? All right, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna turn the rest of my food off here as well. Oh, I was gonna put more- I did put more potatoes, yes, I do remember that. And I am gonna take a second to just- yeah, I don't need all of this in my- Um, what do I want in here? That was- oh, hey, I have a whole bunch of hay bales, I forgot about that. I also have a mod that sorts things in my inventory, which is so handy. Like, I've gotten to the point where when I'm playing vanilla Minecraft- oh, that's not- actually, that's selecting the background, not the chest. Uh, when I am playing vanilla Minecraft, it is like, I keep going into my inventory and trying to do the sort button and being terribly sad when it doesn't work. I am not- you know, I'm not quite at the point where I, like, can't- can't play vanilla Minecraft anymore, but I do really notice some of the, like, quality of life. The loss of some of the quality of life upgrades. Uh, let's take like half of those back and have that be a thing that lives in here. Lignite coal is just another type of coal. Uh, the flint probably can stay here. Uh, there's uh, I have looks like I have some zombie flesh. Tools can generally stay here. That is not a useful tool though. Um, some of the tools is handy to have in my inventory. <sighs> All right, there's one more mob drop. I like playing Minecraft, but I am so bad at it. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I don't consider myself to be good at Minecraft. Like I'm playing on. You'll notice I am not playing on hardcore. Um, I like having sort of a casual experience with it, and I say ca casual like I don't have a billion mods, but. I like the casual modded experience. And I do actually, I'm hoping eventually to like set up a semi-public server. Um, I don't think I'm anywhere near the point where I could justify a subscriber only server, but like I might do like a server for followers kind of deal. Um, and, well, cause one of my thoughts is like after I make affiliate, I might make one of my goals to like have uh, my own discord for my streams. Um, you're so deep in the mods that you now you now you need a few every day just to feel normal. Oh no, you're not entirely wrong. Oh, I can't. I just it's it's hard. Like vanilla Minecraft is 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 hard now because I just keep feeling the loss. All right, and then these items can live in my backpack. Um, lol, yeah, Honda first. 100%. Um, let's see. And I will keep, you know, I will keep an entire dang stack of logs. We'll never run out of logs. It'd be great. Um, that can be in my inventory. I'll have to make a better one soon. Can I do that with tin? I think I can. What did I just do with, oh, I put it there. Uh, uh, ba 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 and ba yeah all right that's a slightly faster sword that's what it is um and you know what else i can do with the tin that i probably should have done before i did that but uh, not quite enough for that armor i have a hat and boots getting there Save that right, and then I was going to turn that hay bale into a whole bunch of wheat, and turn that wheat into a whole bunch of bread. And maybe a little bit of flour, but I think it's maybe a little too early in my Croptopia building to do all that much flour, so maybe it's more helpful to just do bread. Eh, maybe a little bit of flour. Yeah, and then there we 
rest is bread. Boop. And now we put the bread in the oven. Maybe saving one because that will be an unknown number otherwise. Besides, I actually can put garlic on the bread as well, which is a good reason to keep standard bread around. How is my sugar doing? Ah, sugar cane, grow faster! That's fine. I can make a toast with jam. Yeah! I don't need to eat it yet, but I have it! <laughs> that in my inventory for when I need a food and then maybe also um, I'll keep the cantaloupe around. That's not one that can be made into- oh that was what I was gonna look up. I was gonna look up what I can actually do with cantaloupe. Uh, not much. So yeah, cantaloupe is a good one to hold on to for- uh, or rather, there's nothing that cantaloupe can do that other fruits can't also, so that's a good one to hold on to for emergency food supply. Do, do, do. Oh, I'll have to make some, like, ladders to get up to the tops of the trees. Alright, uh, and then the signs can go in here. Um, yeah. And I have a couple of picks. Uh, do I have any more copper or did I actually run out of copper? I actually kind of ran out of copper. Alright, so I think a thing that could be really handy is if I were to go mining. Uh, so I will do a bit of that and I am only going to be streaming for two hours today but I'm only at an hour and a half so I've still got a little longer. And we're going to check out this little cave area. I'll see you there buddy. Thankfully, you cannot actually jump up to me. That's handy. Eh. So I can just keep on... Whack! Okay. Oh, you know what I just remembered is a good reason to toggle off my... I keep forgetting which button it is. My dark vision is so I know when things are that dark. Um, I think I put my pole in here. Yep. Right? Yes. I don't really need them that much, but I would like fewer mobs to spawn. That's part of my mushy room origin, is I can see in the dark. Alright, I don't really need more coal, but it's here, so it's getting mined. Ah, oh, so slow, so slow. I need more metals. Maybe I go back up and see if there was any. That was, there is one up there. Oh, you know what? That's very high. Maybe I'm not worried about it. Maybe I will actually just go back up and do my preferred method. Wait, shoot. I should have also had a stack of dirt in here, but I did not, so, uh... Boop. Boop. Um... Now maybe I just do fill in. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah. All right. Escape. So I'll admit my my somewhat preferred method of mining, which is not the recommended, is to just eh, pick a random corner. And uh, actually, before I do this, I should remember to grab my cobblestone and my dirt to have on hand. I have so much backpack space, I might as well. Um, keep some of that there so I can make tools. Some already running wool on... Oh, I do not want to keep that wooden pickaxe, though. That's... Ugh. Painfully slow. I'll do something with it later. And, oh, that's not what I want to click on. Make myself a 
ooh, stone pickaxe for when that one breaks. And then I call it, well, I don't really call it anything particularly, but it, it is the dig straight down method. This is not recommended because you never know what you might fall into or onto. However, I do have an origin that takes no fall damage, so the only concern is if I fall into lava, which, or you know, into the place that I was just mining, which is now feels a little silly. Um, but you know, I can like build it up um, so that I have a nice little port there from that. Ah, this is not a great angle. Sorry if I gave anyone else a little bit of vertigo there. Climb up. And, okay, so that's where the hole is. So we do this. And then eventually I can set up like a ladder there. It'll be great. It'll be great. And we will continue sticking straight down. But yeah, so I don't have to worry about falling into a cave just because my mush, you know, little mushrooms do not take fall damage. For I am spongy and made of mycelium. This is already helpful. Oh man, so much copper. Copper is actually really helpful in modern Minecraft because it's like a cheap iron. It's not as good as iron, and there are some things that can still only be made with iron, but, like, there are a lot of basic tools and stuff that can be made at almost the same level as iron tools. Like, slightly less good, slightly less durability, but, like, especially in early game, it's just so helpful because copper is much more plentiful than iron by, like, default in Minecraft, which, by the way, I find mildly annoying because I'm just like, Minecraft, why why you make copper so easy to find and then you give us like two and a half uses for it. That is my complaint to build Minecraft and one of the things I appreciate about modded is like, you know what, what if I instead had tons of uses for copper? I should probably occasionally be putting torches here. Like, just because I don't need them doesn't mean that they're not helpful. the wall I'm trying to keep as the unbroken yeah yeah of course it is <laughs> that to maybe be there except I might need that eventually oh I don't need that stone sword anymore might as well mine out this coal before I keep going oh and look at that sometimes Mining out coal can be time consuming, but like sometimes there will be other ores and then it will be somewhat more worth it. And of course this is like a standard coal because it's like modern industrialization means that you get coal and lignite coal. I actually don't know exactly what lignite coal is and oh, hey look at that silver. Oh, that's handy because now I can start doing magic stuff if I want. Because a lot of, uh, there's a mod, uh, one of the magic mods, Bewitchment, um, has uh, a kind of, silver is uh, not 100% a prerequisite. No, actually it is 100% a prerequisite. So there's a tool you need to do basically anything. You need to make a specific thing which you need a sp uh, specific silver tool to get a required ingredient of. Anyway, let's keep going. Whee! I will not mind. Ooh, fancy. Look at that. Look at all that cave system. Oh, that's cool. Maybe... Oh, I can't reach the other side, but I can reach this side and put a torch. It's funny how I actually, like, adding torches for natural lighting negatively impacts my night vision, which makes it, like, slightly harder to see. Not, not significantly, but... It's a thing with night vision that I will just totally forget. I wonder if Surtis Quartz works as a quartz for that, uh, other thing. Take you guys out. Okay. Yeah. 
closer. Come. But not so close that you can actually hit me. Oh, I heard a skeleton. That'll be a little more dangerous. Hmm. Uh... Hmm. Alright, let's just start putting torches up so things stop spawning. should have probably stopped to like deal with any of those monsters but that's fine um that's not ideal but it will be fine uh did i actually take all of the stuff i did mm, it's fine i don't take fall damage oh that skeleton is inconvenient though maybe i can punch it This is not promising. Yeah. Well, I didn't have any items on me anyway. That's fine. Alright, I'm gonna try actually bringing some stuff. Alright. Miscellaneous was where I was putting it. I have a wooden pickaxe so I can go get some more. Oh, you know what else I can do is I can sleep through the night. <laughs> F. Lol. Yep, 100%. I am a squishy little mushroom who got a little too, uh, careless. It's probably fine. Nope, it's not fine. Why did I jump down here before I had anything? I, I specifically pulled out this wooden pickaxe so I could get some stone so I could make weapons and then I'm like, eh, what if instead I just jump right down into the danger zone? Eh. I do enjoy how many clearly missed shots this skeleton has taken. Oh, that's a good angle, though. Can I just attack you with a pickaxe and at least get a little bit of damage before you kill me again? Yes, a little bit of damage. Alright, alright. Mm. I'm gonna try one more thing. Does sneaking work on mobs? Will you not be able to see me if I sneak? And of course this thing where like I drop uh, my character's head with all of my items is itself a mod. Wait, why can't I pick up the items? Okay. Well, this is this is an interesting structure. Oh, maybe there's too many items. All right, so if I put that and that, and I grab a backpack and put a couple things in there. Okay. Then can I do the stealth click? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I even got some of my XP back. Nice. All right. I should probably be more concerned about where that skeleton got off to, but eh. This is such a fun area. I don't know how I'm gonna get back out of it, because I just realized I don't remember where I came in from, but- Oh, there it is. Oh, there. Extra torches. I'll remember slightly better. Alright, let's see. What is actually helpful to- oh, let's not go that way. Let's maybe do that. Such a weird cave. Oh, whoop. hello, buddy. I do not want what you are selling. Please go away. Hey, I survived. That's the important part. Oh, tungsten and gold. Oh man. Oh, it's gonna be a pain getting out of here, but I will come out if I can successfully get out of here with all of my items. I will have so much cool stuff. Oh wait, I can't. Mine karma with that. Oh, I can't do that either. Oh, right, because this is the slightly less good version of copper. Um, uh, could just, you know, I could try to mine more, but I also might be better served by attempting to exit this space. Uh, 
I'm gonna be here, more zombies. Uh, maybe this way? And... yeah, alright. Do I have enough blocks to climb my way back? We'll find out. Getting there. I definitely am feeling taller. And by taller, I mean like higher. Oh, we've all gotten to this bit. Can I build all the way up? So close! So close! I did it! Woo! Alright. Time to go do some smelting. Please give me all that nice copper first. Maybe I should have done actually something that would take less time first. Um, yeah, actually. Boop. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Do that instead. I did! I made it with some useful stuff. I can go back. Oh, what a good little mushy! You're right! I, I, I am a good little mushy! Oh, that makes me really happy. Oh. Look at that, some sugar. I should really plant it though. Yeah, right. I can eat some of the toast here. Ah, I have made a new advancement. Hearty meal. Eat anything that was crafted. Nice. Alright. And I am gonna drop the rest of the toast off though because it's good to save. Um, drop that off. Didn't I have some. Oh yeah, I did dump a few things in a backpack. Um, get that quartz. The rest of that can stay. Surgis quartz. And there's stuff to harvest. Wow. Wow. Well, actually, I didn't have to do that. The Croptopia things already are just like that by default. I definitely want more garlic. More garlic! Both in fiction and real life. I like garlic. <laughs> Lol. Heart. Yes. <laughs> little mushy. Still makes me happy. Oh, oops. Didn't even need to get that one. Why? Oh, because they're not- wait, I'm not close enough, that's what's happening. Ugh, all of the stuff, all of the stuff is too much for my inventory. Oh, wait, I was doing that for this And I almost missed that. Tomato! Seeds, 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 seeds. Alright. And how much more of it can I pick up? Not all, but most. Wait, actually, did I get all of it? Yeah. Oh, nope. Missed a tomatillo. Alright. Let's... That's food. That's food. A whole bunch more seeds. That's magic stuff. And I also have some mob drops. I also have some basic blocks to drop off. And you know, actually, I don't need to keep the cooking pot on my person. <laughs> Doop -doo. How are you doing with the silver? Oh good, now I can do the copper. <laughs> Let's go get that tomatillo. Alright, let us drop off the tomatillo. And you know what? I am going to make a fun little thing. Let's see if I have the stuff to do. Yeah! I don't actually know how to, if that's pronounced a fame or athame or how exactly that is pronounced, but it is part of bewitchment and it is the step one of magic. If I recall correctly, there is one of the, well, actually, any of these trees are technically. I have so much birch. I can get so much birch bark. So the, the main point of this is to strip bark from trees that can then be used for magic ritual purposes. These trees didn't need that bark, right? 
And also, there are these trees, there are a couple of trees that are unique to Bewitchment. Uh, the Elder Tree is one of them, so... Yeah! And I do actually just realize, I did just realize I need a whole bunch more iron, but then when I have more iron I can make a cauldron, and then once I have a cauldron I can use a cauldron plus silver and some of the bark to make a witch's cauldron, and then I can make cool potions. Well, I mean, a lot of them are the same potions, they're just like, with slightly easier to make. Alright. And so therefore that all will get dumped in. Actually, let's hold on to that and put it in my backpack. The silver I probably don't need to put into, though. How you doing there, Mr. Forge? Alright, uh, let me make another one, actually, so I can have... Eventually I'll do something with hoppers, but hoppers are still a bit of a ways off, so let's do that. Um, and that. And I actually feel like I'm hitting a good point, because I wasn't going to go much past 4 or so, and it's already like 3.55, and I'm like, alright, I got some stuff smelting. I can actually leave this up a little bit and let that smelt so it'll be done by the time I come back and play again. And I'm going to call it here, but I am actually going to be back on in like an hour uh, to be playing with Ana again. Uh, to be doing, uh, we'll probably be doing more Don't Starved. Don't, uh, maybe we can, we're, I'm hoping maybe we can actually set up a world that we can have been in for a little while <laughs> for uh, tomorrow when we're streaming Don't Starve together again with another friend. We've been having a lot of fun with Don't Starve together. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for everyone who came out and watched and was chatting, and I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for watching my stream. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, and I will be back playing more Minecraft, hopefully sooner than later. And... Uh, oh, tonight at 5pm. Roughly 5pm to 7pm, so... Anytime in that frame we will probably be still live so if if anyone can make it for that that'd be great but uh even if you can't thank you so much for being here now i appreciate it beyond words thank you so much so uh see you later bye